He wanted to see Dorothy and Empress. And this investigator, um, Drum, falsified his report, crashes his, his car, uh, his car to, to match the false report, and then they throw him in this, in this dungeon of absolute torture. We are not, we are not scared of the day in court because the evidence is there, but we are concerned that Mustafa will, if he will make it to court because on May 24th, they almost unalived him. 10 correctional officers went into his cell, uh, handcuffed him, took his clothes off and beat him for many, many hours. Uh, Mustafa had his head double the size, his limbs double the size. He had, um, and he still has, a broken arm, a leg. They have, pro I'm pretty sure they have healed incorrectly. But he was, he was supposed to, um, that was supposed to be his last day on, on earth that day. Because these 10 officers were just beating him, stomping him beating his head repeatedly like he was a soccer ball. Um, somehow, somehow Mustafa survived the accident. Somehow Mustafa survived that beating, but it wasn't enough. When Mustafa came forward about Juan Campos's unaliving in this, in this jail, he was beat up again and again, twice in a week. And it seems like the same names keep coming up. Eric Lindsay, Tipton, all these, like these correctional officers that have been there for a long time, it keeps coming up. They, they do this, they, um, they treat those inmates like they are, like, they're not humans. Um, they go, like these correctional officers, they go to work to absolutely torture tase, beat, break bones, you know, they go to, to work to do that. And they've been getting away with this for over a decade. It's, it's not the country that I and m most of us, we, we don't think that anything like that can happen in just a county jail. People are waiting for their, um, their day in court. But um, and now we know it's a, it's a it's a pattern of unaliving individuals in this facility, and the latest addition to their resume of an unalivings is Juan Campos. He was an 18-year-old Colombian kid. Um, they found some some pill in his car, then he ends up here. And then eight days later, all of a sudden he, he is not not with us anymore. The mom um, the mom said that she had a healthy son. She yeah. he was not sick. They have pictures that his nose is broken, his face oh. is bashed um, in, giant lump on the head. And uh, and now they have pictures that that Juan, the 18-year-old uh, young man, had uh, a broken nose. He had a big lump on his uh, head. His face was bashed in, so... The jail says there is no foul play. There, there is, he died out of natural causes. The jail says... Or uh, drug-related. Yeah, like all the other ones that they've been unaliving. They say um, natural causes, no foul play. The and then script. moving on with life. The same script every time. How can so much life loss can happen behind these behind these buildings of this of this uh, of this county jail, and nothing is done? Um, we can't continue. We can continue letting this happen because. One of these days, it could be 